Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a really quick book haul because I went to the, um, where did I go? I went to the Value Village in Owen Sound and I raided their bookshelf. And I mean, I completely raided it. So, I'm going to show you guys what I got. So a couple of these I actually didn't get from Value Village. Such as this one here, which is Tom Sawyer. This one here, which is uh, The Secret Garden. And then these ones here, which I got from my kid's um, book order. So they're all Haunted Canada books because I'm obsessed. Okay, so those are the ones I didn't, plus these ones here, which <laughs> now that I'm looking, I realize I've got a couple of, anyway, so this one here I got from like the dollar store a while ago because it looked, I like the cover. And then there's this one here, which is the City of Bones, which is what I'm saying I'm now realizing I now currently have two of because I went and got one at Value Village the other day. <laughs> so, yay. And then I've also got Tales from the Shadow Hunter Academy. And I've ordered this one a while ago as well. So this one's not new by any means. So I just haven't read it yet. So it's new and it was in my pile of books I haven't even touched since I bought them. So I'm counting it in this haul. So basically I got this here. Big ass bag. So you're going to be hearing crinkly crinkly. And here are the books I bought literally yesterday. I spent like 64 bucks on, on books um, from the Dollar Tree. Or not the Dollar Tree, I'm sorry. From the, um, what did I say? Help me out, guys. From Value Village. I bought $64 worth of books from Value Village yesterday. And even though those weren't included in them, those were actually, like, full priced. Like, these ones here were, like, I don't know, Walmart and, like, Scholastic. So this one here was, like, 13 bucks. So, like, I actually paid full price for these ones. But these ones here, I think I got them for, like, $4.99 each. So, I've got a second copy of this one. Um, my sister's probably going to claim that. But if not, maybe I'll do a giveaway. Um, but then I also got, because I'm in love with Cassandra Clare books, but I want to have them all before I start the series. Like, I've already started the first book, which is City of Bones. I started it because I rented it from the library. Um, but, yeah, so I actually have started this series but I haven't finished the book, and I'm probably going to restart the book now that I'm getting more of them. But until I have the full series, I don't really want to invest too much time into reading them because I don't want to get too invested in reading them and then not be able to continue. Anyway, so this is the second book of the Clockwork Prince because I'm pretty sure I have the first one in my room. So I got that one. I literally just raided the shelf of every Cassandra Clare book they had. So there's that one. And then I also got City of Ashes, which is the second book. So I can officially read the first one because I have the second one, but now I need to get the third one. And speaking of the third one, oh look, there it is, City of Glass. So I ordered that. I got that one yesterday as well for $4.99 from the, from the Valley Village. All of these are in really good condition. I looked at them while I was there. And then I also got, so this is one I already have. So this is The Outsiders. This is my third copy of The Outsiders because I like it that much that I tend to recommend it to people. And when I recommend it to people, then they're like, oh, well, can I borrow it? And when they borrow it, I never see it again. So every time I see an affordable copy of The Outsiders or a book that I really like, I will get it. For instance, I have like four copies of Percy Jackson. Shh, don't tell. Um, yeah, but anyway, so I ordered The outside, or I bought The Outsiders, which I said is my third copy. Um, really excited to have it. And then this one here is the same author, S.E. Hinton, and it was called That Was Then, This Is Now, and I'm going to start that one tonight because I'm really excited to read it. I can get through, I read, I've read The Outsiders like four times and I get through it in one day every single time. So I'm really excited to read this one and it's literally first on my list. Okay, what else we got? So then I ordered, or why do I keep saying I ordered? I bought The Incredible Journey because The Incredible Journey is a movie that is on the um, Disney Channel app. And I'm really, really excited for my son to watch that. But we like to read the books and then watch the movies. So since there's a book on this, I managed to find it accidentally, actually. And now we can watch this and then we can watch the movie. I'm excited. So then we also have the novel of Peter Pan, which I'm not sure if that's a good idea or not. Um, that might be one of those things where I don't really want to read it because I don't want to ruin the book. But... I'm excited to read it, and my son will be reading it with me. I'm excited for that. Okay, then we got The Hatchet. Now, I've read this one three times. Um, I think once was in school as an assignment, once was in school because I felt like it, and once I rented it from the library um, because I just kind of wanted to remember why I liked it so much. So now that I have it, I can read it to my son because it's a pretty good book. 
and I'm really excited. It's about a kid named Brian, right? I think so. Brian? Brian? Is your name Brian? I don't know. I'll have to read it again to find out. Oh, 13-year-old Brian. Brian Robeson, Robeson? Yeah, I'm excited to read that to my kid. All right. Now the best part. Well, not to insult the ones I already have, but I got a bunch of Haunted Canada books from there, too. So I got this one here, which is Haunted Hotels in Canada. This one here, which I already... Oh, this one here is Haunted Christmas, which is, again, Ontario books. This one here is Ghost Stories for Christmas. This one here is Halloween Ghost Stories. And this one here is the one I already have that my dad bought me, but because it was stored outside, it started getting moldy, which I didn't really know books do, but I guess it kind of makes sense. So I replaced it with this one here, and I'm really excited to, you know, read it up, read up on it again. So that was my entire haul, which is actually like, look at this. That's a lot of books. I, I did good. I have a, a pretty good haul. $64 for most of that. Pretty good. I'm pretty, pretty happy with it. So yeah, that was my book haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to have a lot of reading ahead of me. I'm really working on getting a bookshelf that's tall enough for me to hold all my books because right now I've just got them all over the place. They're in boxes still. I still have some put away, but I can't find them from when I moved here. They're probably in the garage and they're probably not any good, but that was my entire Gone series by Michael Grant. My entire Percy Jackson series minus like one, I think. Yeah, I think it's like minus one. And, um... It's, yeah, it's really, really sad. I've got a lot of books put away, and I really need to find them. Um, so, yeah, that's my book haul for today, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And tell me, have you ever read The Outsiders? And if you have, who's your favorite character? Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!